And so we're back for another unboxing and fun pick a card reading, guys. Oh, wow. I'm so excited to show you this new deck. I really am so happy. Um, I love this deck, Soulmate Cards by Tony Salerno. The same one, uh, which is a lo lover's oracle, right? So, yeah. Um, I love the messages that it holds. So much beautiful messages. And I pretty sure you will love it as well okay so yeah let's try to open it because i don't want to spend so much time doing this because we're going to do a pick a card reading but look at this place your left hand on top of the cards close your eyes and what and whether you are in a relationship or not focus on your soulmate simply breathe relax and feel their presence feel your heart being filled with soft pink light and when you're ready pick a card and allow the words to resonate within your heart's center place it like that and then let's try to pull out okay how about this one i'm not going to show all of the cards all right because that's going to take a long time a loving thought triggers a loving response your love is felt and appreciated and an angel surrounds you a sacred union is born the union of twin souls within a threefold flame how beautiful is that guys i'm probably going to take two more all right how about this one do not fear the current changes. All is happening in accordance with your divine plan. The current events are paving the way to a brighter future. Love illuminates all darkness. Remain positive and light. Such a beautiful message. Definitely we're going to do uh, a soulmate reading today, of course, with this deck. One more. Let me just get one more and then... Okay. A great love requires intimacy, trust, and the ability to share your feelings, express your doubts and fears, your likes and dislikes. Talk openly, listen, be present, always with an open heart and mind. Very beautiful messages, I told you. Um, and so, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely do a soulmate reading. And the reading for today is actually messages from your soulmate, all right? If you want to call it Twin Flame, you can do that. But, of course, we're just using um, this soulmate cards that's why messages from your soulmate all right and as usual we'll have three choices for this reading let me show it to you okay we're gonna do coasters this time and i love these coasters look at that okay this is group one the um okay coaster very beautiful i love that the second choice or group would be the mandala coaster beautiful and the third choice will be the yin yang coaster. All right. Okay, so let me put this aside. Okay, let me put it center. Okay, there you go. And where is my wand? Okay, there you go. So let me show you the choices once again. This is group number one, the Om um, coaster. Group number two, Mandala coaster. And group number three will be the yin yang coaster. So pick which one is calling you out the most and we'll get started with your reading messages from your soulmate hello group one you chose this beautiful coaster this is the arm um. it's my favorite actually so um <clears throat> excuse me i'm going to um pull out a lot of cards from different decks okay or several decks and then um at the very end of the reading we'll pull out the soulmate cards for you i also did some channeled um messages you know um i did that earlier so hopefully that will resonate to someone again this is a general reading it would definitely not resonate not all the details are gonna resonate with you so um Take it as it resonates and leave, you know, the rest, okay? So let's get started. Let's try to find out what is it that your soulmate wanted to tell you or your or the messages from your soulmate. Okay, Spirit, what is a message or what are the messages of Group 1 Soulmate? Messages from Group 1 Soulmate, please, Spirit, Archangels, and Angels. Wow, that was so strong. Okay, hold on. Let's see this one. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Then let's pull out Orbit Tarot deck. Messages of Group 1 Soulmate, please. Okay. We got, what is this? Wow. We have Ace of Wands. That's beautiful. 
Then let's pull out the good tarot. Messages from group one soulmate, please. Okay. You got the tower. All right. Okay. Then the wisdom of the oracle. Messages from group one soulmate, please. All right. Thank you. We got, oh my God, regeneration. Okay. And then let's pull out, what else are we going to pull out? Okay. Energy Oracle, please. All right. Let's see here. Oh, wow. That was strong. Storm warning. And then you got action. Okay. Beautiful. I love it. And then we'll pull out more cards um, for this um, reading, of course, because I do have channeled messages, um, which I will use on this reading, too, um, as, you know, as their message for you. And again, like what I said, guys, before we get started, um, this is just a general reading. And if this is applicable as well for those who are still not in a soulmate relationship. So if you're actually definitely not resonating because you don't know this is these rather are their messages for you okay maybe from their higher self okay so i just wanted to put that out before we begin now when it comes to signs and energies what i'm really feeling here are you know it could be they could be a scorpio a strong scorpio they could also be um earth energy virgo capricorn and taurus they can also be um a fire sign a quick uh, rather aries sag and leo okay all right so what i'm actually feeling here definitely majority of you guys already knows this person okay because there was a tower moment something happened okay this person's message for you is that i'm hearing that they know they made a mistake they really know that they made the mistake and it took some time for them to admit that fact that they made a mistake, you know, and they don't know. Honestly, they're telling me that they don't know how to actually uh, handle this situation because whatever happened between the both of you, it was really, really terrible for some. Like um, there were a lot of heartbreaks, a lot of, you know, a lot of um, I'm picking up a lot of, you know, um, emotions like somebody's crying, you know, somebody's totally like really freaking out. I don't know why I'm seeing, you know, like somebody's trying to throw things. That's weird. Uh, for some of you, maybe you guys are married, you know, or you guys used to be, you know, living together, if you know what I mean. And somebody's throwing out some things, you know, like throwing out. Yeah, it's so emotional, so dramatic. That's what I can pick up. And then this person realizes their mistake, okay? It took them a long time to admit you know, at first they're not admitting their mistake. That was very specific. It's not going to resonate for all of you. But the point is, this person wanted to apologize. They admit they've made a mistake. They regret whatever it is that they did, okay? And they want to begin again with you. You know, this tower moment actually shook them up. I'm hearing shook them up to the core. Um, yeah, we also have the storm warning, right? So, yeah, definitely it was the most terrible thing that ever... I'm hearing tumultuous, okay? So it's the most terrifying, terrible thing that ever happened um, to them. So this person, I could really feel that they love you so much. They cannot give up this connection. They don't want to. And they wanted as much as possible to begin again with the Ace of Wands to renew this passion that they feel for you. For some of you, I really feel that you guys have been together for such a long... I'm hearing five years for some. Wow. Married. Uh, for some of you guys, you, you guys are already married, okay? For five years. I, I don't know. I'm hearing five years is so strong. Something about five years, okay? Um, so you guys could be, you know, be together for such a long time already. And... Um, they just don't want to give up this connection. They know that this is very, you know, important for them. When whatever happened between the both of you, you guys separated. I, I, I saw things being thrown out of the door. You know, oh my God, that was specific. Um, if, if that really happened, this is your reading, okay? Because it's not going to resonate for everyone. Whoever is watching this video, and you can resonate that you threw some, some things or things, just things. I saw clothes. I really saw some things, you know. I even saw like... Oh my god why did i saw a racket a tennis racket this is freaking weird i don't know why i saw a tennis racket or maybe somebody's just interested in tennis i don't know why i saw tennis 
this is freaking weird. But anyway, um, some th things being thrown out of the door, or uh, I don't know, I don't know if it's a door or what, but I just saw things being thrown out, okay? And so, what I'm picking out is that this person, they had the most terrifying, tumultuous, this is the most tumultuous event of their life, is, that, is the message that they wanted to tell you, and that they totally regret, you know, and that they can't, you know, handle this separation. Really, they can't. And so they wanted to come back towards you. For some of them, it took some time for them to actually admit. There's something about admitting, you know, admitting their mistake. Like, this person doesn't want to admit their mistake. And now they finally, you know, um, realize that, you know, yes, after all, it, it was me, you know. Um, I actually just, I'm hearing like, I was the one who actually, you know, caused a lot of damage on this um, connection of ours. So, and I'm hearing, sorry, like this person, your soulmate really wanted to apologize to you. So um, they're really sorry. They really are. And they have a lot of passion for you. And um, they wanted to rebuild the connection with the region and generation here. Um, I'm hearing this ain't over yet. Okay. This ain't over yet. That was so specific. I heard that. Um, this ain't over yet. So this person's not giving up on this connection. That's the point of this reading this person is not going to give it up they will try their very best to come back maybe it took some time for some of you if you're not resonating with the five years you've been separated for five years um i'm also picking up that it's been a long time you know that you guys are separated like or this it's been a long time since this person actually you know um, realized that they made a mistake because I, I don't know why I'm focused on that. They took it a, a long time for them to admit to admit something you do about accepting and admitting their mistake. Okay, and so they know that they are you know they're not going to give up on this connection and they wanted to rebuild it because this ain't over yet. I keep on hearing that this ain't over yet, and they still have hope on this connection. Okay, they wanted to rebuild it, um, start from the very scratch have that passionate new beginning with you okay and they want and they're going to take action definitely they're going to take action um because of the storm the tower that happened you know this actually I, i'm hearing i'm broken i was broken i was broken okay i'm broken and this person just wanted to take action and this person's definitely you know willing to you know to put some work okay on this connection this is so clear very crystal clear this person um this reading for this first set of pile uh or the pile of cards that i have here in front of me right now it's so direct you know um that's what they've been they wanted to tell you Th those are the messages that i want to tell you they are apologizing i am sorry i know i made a mistake it took me some time to finally admit it okay maybe this person is also egoistic for some like they're very stubborn i'm picking up their stubbornness they're stubborn um and pride i'm also hearing pride and sometimes i'm also yeah i'm also picking up scorpio here for i i don't know somebody is a scorpio somebody's controlling okay I don't know. I don't know. Just take it as it resonates. I'm getting some messages um, about somebody stubborn. Somebody's very controlling. And yeah, it took some time for them to finally admit to their mistakes. And they wanted to apologize. They wanted to have a new beginning with you. What they wanted to tell you is that they are not giving up on this connection. It's ain't over. It, it ain't over yet. That's what I heard. It ain't. That's the exact words. It ain't over yet. And that they're willing to rebuild this connection to start it, you know, because they have hope for this, despite of the storm, you know, despite of the storm that happened, despite of the, all of the things that happened between the both of you, the tumultuous, you know, it's a very tumultuous and this person is totally broken, you know, it's, the, it's like, it's the worst thing that ever happened to my life. For some of you, it's all about marriage you guys are already married I, I can strongly pick up that too um if you're not married then you guys are living together because i saw some things being thrown out i don't know why i saw that if not just take what resonates okay not every single clue or wh whatever it is the messages that i'm picking up right now it's not going to resonate totally for you so just pick out which one is resonating with you but definitely what i tell you is that this person is going to take action towards you they're ready to take action towards you. Oh my God, that was so specific. All right, so let's try to pull out um, Romance Angels cards for you. Okay, Spirit. Messages from Group One Soulmate. The messages of Group One Soulmate, please. What do they want to tell Group One? Whoops. 
It's funny, I was actually doing a reading for my other channel and somebody actually left a comment and said, oh, I don't trust her reading because she actually put the five cards back. Well, actually, just to let you know, FYI, the way I do my reading is that I actually only take a maximum of three cards. But obviously, I understand they haven't watched my previous video. So, yeah, they probably thought, like, you know. <laughs> anyway, such comments. Sometimes you just don't react to negative energies of people. I see a lot of readers getting pissed off, you know. Um, just calm yourself. You know, you don't have to pay attention and don't take it personally as well. Um, because, yes, everywhere you go, there are negative people, negative Nancy, and they are actually surrounded by a lot of bad vibrations. You can just simply just delete their message, block him off, and that's it. You know, you can't, you know, please everyone. All right, so, yeah, this is a taking a long time. Oh, love yourself first. Okay, so... Okay, I'm, I'm getting this strong message right now. You've given a lot to this person, you know? You've given a lot to this person. Um, and they feel that they took advantage of your kindness. Why am I hearing that? So specific message, okay? So yes, so this person wanted to tell you to think about yourself, love yourself first, okay? Maybe it, you're always the one who's actually doing the work for this person. Um, that's why, and they don't want to admit that, you know, that you're the one who's making all the effort. That's what I'm hearing right now. Like you're putting a lot of work on this and that you even fail to take good care of yourself, to put yourself first, uh, to put your needs above anything else. Okay. And so this person, your soulmate is wanting to tell you to love yourself first. Okay. Um, I'm also hearing that they wanted to thank you for always taking good care of them, for always making sure, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but for always making sure that um, they're doing they're doing okay. And I'm also hearing something about lunch. I don't know why I'm hearing something about lunch. Like maybe you're calling them up to, to check whether they've eaten lunch. That is so specific, guys, okay? I don't know whose message is that, but they, somebody, I'm, I'm hearing that. Thank you for always checking up on me um, during lunch, you know? And I was like, okay, during lunch. Lunch break, maybe, yeah. So lunch, or yeah, probably before or when they're about to eat or something, if they've eaten already. I'm getting that message. That is very, very specific, though. But yeah, um, this person wanted to tell you to love yourself. Put yourself first. Okay, um, maybe because you're overly giving or you always put them first before you and some of them actually probably took advantage of it. You know, like they all they know that, you know, that you're all you're always going to be there for them, you know, and they took a, something about taking advantage of your kindness of they got used to it. You know, they got, you know, so lax like and I'm hearing that they're insensitive too. And they're apologizing for being so insensitive as well. Okay, it's not going to resonate for everyone, guys. This is, um, these are very specific messages. I don't know why I keep on getting specific messages this time. So anyway, let's actually try the lovers oracle. What does group one soulmate want to tell them? Group one soulmate. If you want to call it twin flame, then do so. Okay. All right. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Okay, so what I'm actually getting here is that for some of you guys, you are actually friends, great, great friends and great lovers at the same time. So, um, you know, basically this card is telling that I'm hearing like they wanted to recapture, you know, the good times. I don't know why I'm getting a lot of specific messages. I don't know if it's related to the card or I'm just hearing it right now. Okay, hold on. Because I'm hearing like they wanted to recapture the great moments that you both have, you know. And I, I could see couples like teasing each other right now. Like giggling and teasing each other. Someone is actually, you know, tick tickling. Tickling, yeah, tickles, like tickling someone. I don't know why I'm getting that. Or maybe this is how you started. Maybe you were actually friends. It started out as a friend, and now they don't want to lose the friendship. Because what happened was with that tower moment, they did not only lose the romance or the love, but they lost the friend in you, okay? They lost the, a good friend in you. So they lost two people in their life. It's kind of like that. I don't know why I'm getting that message, okay? But for some of you, 
Okay. Um, for some of you, you if you are not resonating with you guys are already a couple. Okay. Uh, maybe it's just that you guys had a fight, like with a tower moment that happened. Maybe some of you are actually not expressing their emotions or not, you know, you are the one who's actually more giving to this person, but not necessarily you are in a relationship yet. This person wanted to tell you, love yourself first, okay? Um, maybe you got tired. Somebody got tired, like, you know, I don't think this person really loves me. Like, maybe this person is just, you know, taking advantage of my own kindness. So I'm, I'm describing right now for those who are not resonating with being already in a committed relationship okay so this person is actually wanting to tell you that yes do love yourself first okay um because i'm picking up an energy of somebody who's way too giving like this person's always you know always there for this person and never you know never even and this person never even you know it wasn't balanced like this person didn't do the same things that um the other person was doing so flip the roles, just take it as it resonates. And somebody grew tired, like somebody really, really grew tired of, you know, uh, of the connection. But you guys are actually, um, you know, are being told that you have to nurture the bonds of friendship. Try to get to know more first, okay? And somebody, I'm, I'm picking up them, somebody is also trying to, yeah, quick, like somebody wanted to escalate, not escalate, elevate the relationship really quickly but what spirit is actually telling you is, is, is that he, you know you need to get to know each other first try to nurture the bonds of friendship and by doing that it will grow let it grow i'm hearing that right now let it grow don't force it that's the exact words i'm hearing right now let it grow don't force it don't force it to be into a, a commitment you know uh you know um like a partner, you know, like a couple already. Maybe this person needs time. Remember, they have the ki knight, not the king. They have a knight of pentacles energy. So maybe this person um, um, needed more time first. They move so slow, okay? Um, maybe you're wait. I'm also picking up that energy of someone who's actually hurrying things up. Like, you know, like hurry. Like, I, I, I want this to be, you know, um, more than friends. I'm hearing that so strongly. So yeah, that's the advice of spirit from you you that you have to let it grow and in order to let it grow you have to nurture the bonds of friendship right try to get them get them uh try to get to know them more there you go thank you try to get to know them more and another message also that i'm getting is that you have to be very appreciative of what this person can also give now this is a totally different energy okay because the other energy i'm seeing is that couples are fighting and this person is actually very stubborn and controlling or somebody's stubborn and controlling but this energy that i'm picking up right now are resonating more for those who do not resonate with the first energy that i was able to pick up because again there's so many energies what i'm picking up for this is that there's another energy i'm picking up that you are actually or somebody if it's not you flip the rose somebody's actually trying to hurry things up like wanted to you know as elevate this to uh, a relationship like a commitment but this person is not ready yet okay um spirit is telling you to be thankful to be appreciative of what this person can first give you which is friendship okay and the advice of spirit is actually for you to get to know more of each other spend more time each other as friends be thankful that you guys are friends until eventually the relationship will grow i keep on hearing let it grow let it grow not go okay let it grow do not hurry things up okay and that's a specific message for someone all right so now let's pull out your Hold on, let me actually get my... I'm going to use, it's been a long time I haven't used the keywords, okay? And these are just additional clues for you, okay? Um, it's not going to resonate for everyone, but I'm going to pull out some channel keywords that I've done a long time ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, oh, that was strong. Wow. But I haven't used this for a long time, but I'm going to pull out probably six, six cards here, okay? Mm -hmm. That was a strong energy. That is so weird. Okay. And um, let's see which keyword. Okay, there you go. We got two. We have March. Okay. Somebody's going to resonate with March. We have third party. Okay. 
All right, for some of you, maybe there was an argument, like, you know, admitting the mistakes and all that, because there was a third party. I saw some things being thrown out, right? Some some clothes. I even saw a tennis racket. This is weird. But yeah, for some of you, can resonate with a third party. I'll pull out six from this um, keyword that I did a long time ago. Okay. Wow, that's a lot, though. Okay, wow. All right. Three. Okay, these are three. We have May. Okay, so somebody's a Taurus, definitely, because we have a uh, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus, Lib uh, Virgo, and Capricorn, right? For the Pentacles energy. So somebody's born in May, or you could have separated in May. Something to do with March. Okay. Then we have Travels. So somebody loves to travel. I don't know how you can actually resonate with that. Then we have Separated, obviously, because there's a third party. And then finally, oh my God, reconciliation. What did I tell you guys? I told you this person is coming back. What did I tell you? They're actually taking action, all right? They're, they're taking action because I heard strongly like, it ain't over. It ain't over yet, okay? So they are wanting to rebuild, okay? the connection because they have hope and faith that this is still going to work. They don't want to give you up. Okay. So definitely somebody is going to come back, wanted to have a new beginning with you, right? Where's that ace of wands card? Yeah. They wanted to have a new beginning with you. So again, let me actually pull it up again. Try to pause the video if you want. So you have March. So let me know how you will resonate with March. Could be their birthday or the, the month where you guys broke up. Okay, we have third party. Okay, definitely a third party. May, they could be born in May or you guys separated in May. Something about May. And of course, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is actually a Taurus. So usually uh, May, uh, Taurus born in May, right? Then we have travel. Okay. We have separated, obviously. You guys separated, and now they wanted to come back. Reconciliation. That was so specific. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so next, um, I've channeled on these messages just earlier. So hopefully this will resonate to someone. I'm just going to pull one card. I'm, I'm being asked to just pull one card, okay? These are channeled messages from your soulmate before we use the actual soulmate cards by Tony Salerno. All right. This is a long reading. It's already 20 minutes. Oh, my God. I hope you didn't see that, but it just flipped. Okay. These are blank flashcards, actually. So, yeah, I'm being pulled to get this card. Hold on. Okay. So this is their message for you. Just one. I was being asked, just pull out one. You give me, you give me so much peace just by looking at your eyes. I told you guys, this person is definitely a mess. They, they, they said earlier, somebody said like, I'm broken. This is the most terrifying, tumultuous moment in my life. And yeah. Yeah. So they just wanted to tell you, your soulmate wanted to tell you, your twin flame. If you don't want soulmate, then twin flame, whatever it is that you want to, you know, label it. But this person is wanting to tell you, you give me so much peace just by looking at your eyes. So, yeah, this person is definitely, oh, gosh, they can't. Um, I'm also hearing they love your eyes, okay? They really do love your eyes. Um, and this person just, you know... It took some time. Again, I, I keep on hearing that. It, it took me some time. Here's the specific words I'm, I'm hearing. It took me some time to finally admit to the mistake, you know, to that mistake. And I'm sorry, you know. Maybe this person is so much bright. And again, stubborn. Very, very stubborn. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm really picking that up. So, again, your person wanted to tell you, again, you give me so much peace just by looking at your eyes. 
that is so beautiful. That is so specific. Okay, so hope that resonates with you because I'm only being asked to pull out one card from that um, channel message that I did. All right, so now let's try to use the soulmate cards. Spirit, what does the soulmate of group one want to tell them? Okay, there you go. You are loved more than you consciously know. Share your insecurities with the one you love. You will be surprised and reassured by their reaction. Love is all around you. Okay, that is so freaking beautiful. You are loved more than you consciously know. Share your insecurities with the one you love. You will be surprised and reassured by their reaction. Love is all around you. For those that are actually, um, you know, in a third party or separation or, you know, if you're resonating more with you guys are, you know, separated and this person want to come back. The message I'm getting from this um, card over here is that, again, like somebody is needed, needed to love themselves, okay, more. Like um, somebody's actually, you know, very, I'm, I'm hearing somebody's actually always jealous, always like checking up on someone. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing that. Like, somebody's definitely insecure, okay? But um, the message I'm getting is that to let that go, to let those insecurities go, and then share it, okay? Be open. Be open about it. And for some of you guys, what I'm picking up from this message, the soulmate card here, is that if you guys are, are just starting out, you guys are friends, there's no relationship just yet, this is a message that you need to hear, okay? Um, maybe it's about time for you to actually just grow first the connection, not take it, because I'm really feeling that somebody's in a hurry, you know, and somebody is also very jealous, like maybe because they're jealous that this person is looking someone else and all that. And um, it's all based on insecurities. But what spirit is actually telling you and your soulmate, maybe this is your higher self, is that they actually do have feelings for you. And, you know, what's going to help with this connection is if you share it, you know, if you open up, maybe some of you are not opening up to this person. Um, maybe you're not telling them really about your insecurities, okay? Because this is an advice. It's more of like an advice. Like you will be surprised and reassured by their reaction, okay? If you don't feel like, I, I don't think this person loves me. I don't think this person likes me. Okay, let's focus more on the energy of somebody who's not really in a relationship just yet. And you're trying to hurry things up. Like, what are we? You know, I get that. I get that um, energy where, what are we really? You know, that like this person is wanting to elevate, again, elevate the connection. So again, Spirit is telling you first to grow, nurture the connection, right? And open up, okay? Open up. Because if you are feeling like, I don't think this person loves me and all that, it's all coming from insecurities. I'm really picking that energy up. Like somebody is actually very much insecure. So that's a reason that explains why we do have the, where's that card? Like love yourself first, right? Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive because there's a lot of insecurities here. So share, if you're wanting to build the bond between the both of you, the, nurture the bond, then start out by being more open, trying to share. If you guys are friends, try to share your insecurities. Let them know your weaknesses or what are you, you know, what are your fear? I don't know why I'm hearing fears, your fears, your insecurities, let them know. Okay, and that this is actually a confirmation that this person actually loves you more than you know. Isn't that so amazing? Oh my God, that is going to resonate for especially, I'm really feeling that especially for those that are actually not necessarily in a relationship just yet, you guys are have strong feelings for each other at this time because there's so many energies, guys. So again, take it as it resonates. 
But anyway, I really do hope that you enjoyed this um, fun pick a card reading, the soulmate cards. I really, really love the messages. And I hope you do like the channeled messages too. Hope that resonated as well. Um, if it didn't, just click off, you know, just click off. It's not the reading for you or you may try other piles. Okay, I'll see you again next time. Bye, group one. Thank you. Love and light. Hello, group two. You chose the Mandela Coaster. Let's put it over there. So we'll see what messages does your soulmate has for you. What do they need to tell you? For some of you, you haven't met them yet, okay? And then for some of you, you already know your soulmate, okay? For those that you do not know this person yet, you're single. Basically, um, this is their higher self or it could be the clues as well. Um, just take what resonates because I'm going to provide some... Um, it's a mix of both energies if you can understand what I'm saying like of course there are some people that they already know their soulmate so I'm gonna pick up their energy I'm gonna pick up what happened to them and definitely it's not gonna resonate with you so just take what is resonating like for instance their sign um, um, their qualities you know you know characteristics and all that so yeah okay anyway let's get started let's try to ask spirit archangels and angels what messages does group two soulmate wants to tell them group two soulmates messages for for them okay okay oh wow well. okay you got two cards you got page of cups there you go and you got nine of pentacles, okay? I'm hearing you're beautiful. I don't know why. I heard that so strong. You're so beautiful. Okay, this person is smitten. The word smitten. This person is so smitten, okay? Wow, okay. <laughs> All right, that was fast. Let me get another card. Let's see here. Urban Tarot. Messages from group two soulmate, please. All right. Oh my God, you got love. <laughs> I told you this guy or this girl is smitten. And I heard you're so beautiful. But it's a guy's voice that I heard. That was so sweet. I really heard the voice like, you're so beautiful. <laughs> God. Oh my God, that was so, so clear. That was so clear. Hold on, I'm already blushing. <laughs> God. Hold on. All right, let's try to use a good tarot. I can't help but blush right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, world. All right. <laughs> Spirit, you're making me blush. All right, you're making me blush. Yeah. Okay, let's pull out <laughs> Wisdom of the Oracle. making me blush spirit okay there we go what is that a leg up wow 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 so far the cards are so good okay i'm hearing the oh god this is so strong i'm hearing un university for some of you guys you guys are classmates somebody yeah i heard that so strong university so it could be school yeah schoolmate and then I'm hearing science. I don't know why I'm hearing science. Is it a science class? Whatever. Um, wow, that was so strong. Yeah, somebody definitely is a student. You know, you guys are classmates. Okay, you guys are classmates. And I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm seeing this guy wearing glasses, right? <laughs> Shoot, this is so weird. I... I don't know on this reading I keep on getting specific messages I've never had that so many specific messages in one reading I don't know why but anyway let me pull up more cards what else spirit okay thank you Wow we have here first chakra Archangel Michael okay all right guys let's start off with these with these cards cards first set of cards because I'm gonna pull out more I even have um, I just did a channeled messages as well for this reading okay so hope hopefully that will resonate to someone 
I'm really feeling the energy of this person. If it's a guy, definitely. They're actually very shy. I also, <laughs> I'll be very blunt. I, I don't want to sugarcoat things. I, I really saw someone who's very nerdy. So let's start off with that energy first. Somebody's very nerdy, very bright, like wearing glasses. Somebody's wearing glasses and the hair is kind of like wavy, wavy hair. I can't pick out the skin color. That's weird. But I just saw the glasses, you know. Yeah, and then I saw this wavy hair. I'm being shown the wavy hair. And the, the guy is actually wearing glasses and white polo with checkered. Checkered. Okay, um, it's not really fair, super fair skinned. Okay, it's not super fair skinned. But this person is actually wearing... Uh, checkered it's a white checkered polo shirt like um not a long sleeve a polo shirt and it's checkered and the checker checkered color it's red okay so if we can resonate with that i don't know why is that so freaking specific and then um it's i'm picking up this energy of a nerd okay someone they're kind of like nerdy you know very nerdy and i feel that this person is actually very um not too skinny, very lean, okay? And this person is very shy, okay? You guys are classmates because I'm hearing, I heard rather earlier university. So maybe you guys are actually, yeah, uh, pr probably even lab partners because I heard science, I don't know. It's something to do with that. But this person is really young, okay? Um, younger than you. And this person is actually, just finds you so freaking beautiful. That's the first words I heard. You are so beautiful, okay? And this person is like so smitten. There's definitely love. Oh my God, I just realized right now somebody's wearing, oh my God, glasses. Yeah, but it's not the same guy that I saw. The guy, well, this one has wavy hair. This is weird. But the guy that I saw, it's like more thick hair, like thick, wavy, fluffy hair, okay? Um, and look at them. There's so much love here. I really feel that you both love each other or like each other, but somebody's actually finding a hard time to express or tell their emotions to you. Like they really do want to express their emotions. Like they're so in love with you already. Um, and I don't feel it's a one-way street. I really feel, well, it's a soulmate, of course. So you guys both love each other. But, but definitely, it's not a one-way street. It's mutual feelings for each other. But somebody's having a hard time. Is he wearing checkered? No, 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 it's not checkered. And it's a long sleeves. Oh my God, this is weird. My heart was racing when I saw, but it's not. It's color white and the checkered um, pattern, it's actually red. I really saw that and it's a lean, it's not a skinny, not super skinny, but it's a lean guy, just, you know, lean guy. And I don't know why I saw that so strongly. Wow, I've never had that kind of, you know, um, image before that's popping into my head or in my mind right now. But yeah, that was so specific. So you guys could be lab partners or I don't know why I'm saying lab partners because of science, because I heard science in the university, okay? Science, university, take it as it resonates. But this person really is, you know, smitten. Like they're so, they love your face. They love your beauty. They love how kind you are, how, how I'm hearing brave. You're also a brave woman. Um, if you're a woman, if you're a man, just flip the roles, okay? Because I'm hearing more about the woman. So, but just flip the roles if you're a guy watching this. But they're very smitten um, at your beauty, okay? and how loving you're very caring they love your voice i'm hearing that too they love your voice so much um there's something about your voice that they like um it's very gentle and they love your your face i don't know something about your face they love your face okay and i i heard that you're so beautiful and maybe this person i don't know if this person already told you that you're beautiful but if they haven't then that's what they wanted to tell you that's the message okay that they wanted to tell you i really feel that this person is so shy your soulmate is so shy and would want to express um that they have more than friendship if you guys are not resonating with the university just the scenario like they haven't expressed their emotions yet for you but they wanted to tell you that they really are in love with you already and i am pull, being pulled to 
get this card a leg up first before the world because I really feel that you guys support each other. This is a, 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 all about offering assistance. Um, somebody is also younger, somebody's older, okay? And this person is actually wanting to tell you that they appreciate you being there, there for them. I'm hearing that message and they do appreciate your time. I don't know what why time, but yeah, maybe your time for them. Um, Okay, yeah, and for some of you, they appreciate the fact that you're hanging out with them, um, the time, yeah, there you go, the times that you guys are together, um, they really enjoy it, you know, um, it's the best moments ever of their, I'm hearing like it's the best time of the day for me, being with you is the best time of the day, wow, that was specific, being with you is the best time of my day. Okay, so yeah, they really are very thankful and so sweet. This is so sweet. It's like two nerdy couples. I don't know why I'm saying that. It's not going to resonate for all, okay? But I'm really picking up somebody, two young couples, actually, two young friends, or they're probably, you know, students. I don't think it's high school, though. But if you're a high school, well, yeah, but it's more about university. I'm really picking that up. If you're not resonating with the school and all that, then just take the energy, like... Um, you guys are actually friends and um, you guys are enjoying each other. You could probably, for some of you that are not resonating with university, I'm still blushing right now because I love the energy. For some of you guys, you guys are talking online, okay, chatting and making some jokes, you know, and your guys are like kids, you know. So they love it. It's the best time of their day. They wanted to tell you, talking to you, chatting with you on social media. It's the best time of their day. There's something about the jokes that they like, you know, they love joking with you. They feel like kids, you know. Oh, they, oh God, I can't help but blush. This is so cute. It's so cute, I tell you guys. And both of you could be shy, but definitely one is shy. This person that's telling me you're beautiful, you're so beautiful, is actually someone is really really shy and they just wanted to thank you so much for your assistance for being there for them they really do appreciate it you know and um again something to do with this is the base chakra so something to do with security but i'm really hearing by looking at this archangel michael first chakra which is the base chakra um i also feel that they have a lot of passion for you as well and i also feel that i'm hearing that Again, something to do with insecurities. They could have insecurities. They could also be um, very shy. You know, um, they don't feel good enough. For some, they don't feel good enough. I don't know why. Something to do about not being good enough, but they see you as their world. Like, yeah, they see you as their world. And for some, you guys met um, online, okay? I keep on getting that um, message coming in again. So yeah, so that's a confirmation that yeah, somebody is actually, if you're not resonating with a, you know, school or being friends, then maybe you guys just, you know, basically met online and they love it when you guys are chatting. I'm hearing that you guys are like kids, okay? And they love the jokes. Somebody loves the joke so much. Somebody was laughing uncontrollably. And, oh, God, this is so cute. Oh, my God. And um, it's, the world card could also mean that you guys are actually, yeah, from different countries, okay? That even though you guys are from different countries, because it's beside each other, right? Um, and, and look at this. They're actually totally different race or color. So maybe, yeah, definitely that's uh, an indication, a strong indication that you guys are from different countries, different races. And there's so much love, okay? There's so much love for each other. But I'm hearing, hearing that it's also hidden. Nobody's um, expressing their emotions just yet. Or maybe you guys are teasing each other, expressing. I'm hearing flirting. Maybe you guys are flirting. For some of you, you guys are already flirting, okay? Um, <laughs> with each other already. <laughs> I don't know why I'm blushing. Oh, God. And, yeah. So, yeah. They just are so in love with you. Okay? They're just... They wanted to tell you that. And they're very happy. They're very happy. They're very happy to have met you. Um, really. And, um... Oh, God. I can't help but blush. Um, and, yeah. And that you're the world to them. Oh, my God. This is the very first time. I, I'm like, I can't help but giggle and smile and, you know, and... Oh my god. So anyway, this is so cute. All right, we'll pull out more cards for you. Oh my god. This is the very first time I'm I'm blushing and giggling. <laughs> god. 
I could feel their energy. It's so cute. I tell you, I wish you can just hear what they said, like the way they said it, you know. God. Anyway, let's pull out Romance Angels. Okay. What is it that this person wanted to tell you? Your soulmate wants to tell you. Some of them are really shy. Like, they don't feel good enough, though. Like, somebody's insecure, though. Um, it's not going to resonate for everyone, but I'm really picking up an energy of somebody's really, really shy. And then they feel that maybe you won't like them. Some of them put you, know, put you up in a pedestal because of the world. Like, you're, you're better than them, you know? And that you are probably somebody who's, yeah, you know? I'm hearing wealthy. Somebody's wealthy, and the other one is just average and they feel that it's like you're not in the same social st either social status or something about status like someone is better i don't know i don't know why i'm hearing that anyway let's see here love yourself first okay your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive okay so it's weird group one got this too and i've shuffled the cards as you can see as you saw me shuffle right um yeah but I am feeling the love yourself first. It's more about this person's message that they need to love themselves first. I really don't feel that this is your message. I'm really feeling like what I said, somebody's insecure, somebody feels that they are not good enough, okay? So they need to love themselves first. That is exactly why we have the base chakra, right? Somebody, you know, needs some insecurities. You know, when I saw this card, I really saw the word insecurities. So this per okay, now I know. Because group one got insecurities message. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, that's it. Um, they have a lot of insecurities, you know. Um, they feel, they don't feel good enough. Okay, so I don't think this message is actually for the viewer. What they're telling you is that they need to love themselves first. They know they need to love themselves. Um because they don't feel good enough at, at this time, okay? They don't feel good enough. Maybe that's the reason why, you know, they don't open up or they don't really, like, totally express their feelings for you because they know that they don't feel good enough. They don't love themselves, okay? They feel, I'm hearing that they feel pathetic. I don't know why, you know? That's weird. And that's sad, you know? I I'm, I'm, I really feel sad for this person because they feel so, they have self-esteem issues. That's what I'm picking up. Maybe they're not showing you that maybe they might appear for some, they might appear that they're okay, but actually they do have a lot of insecurities, okay? So now, now let's try to pull up this um, Lover's Oracle card. What messages does group two need to hear from their soulmate? What messages? Messages. Okay. Oh, wow. You got two. Let's start off with this. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Okay? So, yeah, have trust on this connection. And, and there will be a transformation through acceptance. So try to accept the situation as it is. All right? And once you do that, I'm hearing like everything is going to unfold. Okay? So trust the current situation. All right? And then you got here, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. All right. So that is a specific message for you guys, especially. Um, yeah, for some of you, you guys are close, but it looks like somebody is afraid to commit. I don't know that is specific. Like maybe you guys are actually, yeah, you guys are talking, you guys are sweet with each, with each other, but somebody is, again, um, a scare they're scared somebody's scared to to commit like commit or they're scared because they i'm hearing rejection so maybe that's it maybe this person is actually scared of being rejected by you okay so it says here let there be closeness between you but always give each other space love never claims it simply allows and gives so take it as it resonates flip the rules if it's actually you who's always like you know trying to um somebody's clingy or you always because you love each other's company give this person a space okay or just flip the rules maybe that's the message that they wanted to tell you if you're resonating more with you are the one who actually wanted to, um, you know, to be given a space, then this person is realizing that, you know? But I'm really feeling it's also them, okay? Like, um, 
yes, you guys are close, but try to make sure that you give them space because love never claims. See, love never claims. It simply allows and gives. And then something to do with allow, like let it unfold, right? Trust it. Trust that there will be transformation. Don't hurry things up. It's kind of like the message of group one. Now it's making sense why you guys also got the love yourself first card because group one got that, okay? So yeah, if you want... If you're being pulled to check out Group One, you can do that as well. But yeah, that's those are the messages that I'm I'm picking up here. All right, somebody's really like insecure, like they don't feel good enough. That's so sad. But anyway, let's pull out more. These are actually my keywords. It's been a long while since the last time I've actually you know used this, so I'm gonna take six cards for you. Okay. Oh well, I was so strong. Is that six? If it's six, then this is for you three oh my god it's six okay all right okay indecisive so again yeah somebody is indecisive like what i told you they don't know if they're gonna express their emotions for you right uh somebody could even be an air sign okay or yeah an air sign they could have air in their chart or energy i don't know somebody's indecisive and somebody's uh maybe they're indecisive because they don't know if you're gonna accept them that you're going to love them or that somebody is scared that maybe if they do try to express their true emotions for you then you know you're gonna reject them because i heard that earlier rejection so that's indecision maybe because they were betrayed in the past so somebody was actually very indecisive because they were betrayed in the past okay because group two's energy is really nice you know you guys are really loving i don't see any third party i don't see that you guys are fighting and like group one they're fighting they're throwing things at each other okay <laughs> so i don't sense that i feel that this is this could be the person's past right that maybe they were betrayed maybe they thought they for, I'm getting this strong message. This is very specific. Maybe they saw it. Maybe they tried to um, woo someone or court someone or they like somebody and they thought th um, that person liked them back. But when they tried to express their feelings, they, you know, they got rejected. And so that was like a betrayal for them. Okay. That was some, something very specific. So, yeah, indecisive, betrayal, trust. Oh, my God. You got to trust card twice. Jeez. Now, that is very significant, group two, okay? If you need to pause, try to pause it right now. So, yeah, just trust this, you know, trust in this connection. Allow it to happen because I'm, I keep on hearing unfold. Allow it to happen, all right? And, yeah, it's soulmate, past life. So, definitely, you guys have met, you know, through past lives. You've met, you've had many past lives um, with each other. Oh, my God, I can't believe I actually... That one was worn out. Okay. All right. Then summer. So something about summer. Okay. There's something about summer. So it could be there were, you know, uh, the, the summer months are very significant. Okay. Take it as it resonates. Or something is going to happen. Something significant is going to happen um, this summer or something significant happened last summer. Okay. And then for some of them, they got divorced. Okay. There's a divorce here. I'm also picking up. Oh, God, now I'm okay. Thank you. I'm also picking up somebody is actually scared to commit. Remember, I said somebody's scared to commit. And that is the reason why they're indecisive, because they actually saw their parents, their parents divorce. And they're scared of commitments. You know, somebody's scared of commitment as well. Like, I really heard that strongly. And I now heard like they're scared about you know that it might it might happen to them as well because they saw their something about their they saw their parents how they divorced because of some betrayal and that is something very specific too okay not all would resonate so yeah just take a look at the keyword over here let me know which one is resonating with you but definitely the trust um word it kept on popping up right you got that twice so, yeah, but this person is quite indecisive for now, but I really feel that they do love you, but they are just scared to open up or express. Um, some of them are scared to commit. Some of them doesn't feel good enough. OK, or they were betrayed as well from their previous partner. OK. All right. So now let's try to pull out the channeled messages. Where's my channel? I just did this channeled messages earlier. OK. All right. Um, and I'm being pulled. Spirit told me to just get one one for each group okay let me shuffle it first oh wow 
It will not resonate for everyone. Remember that. But these are their messages, or this is the message rather for you. Oh, well. That's way too much. Okay. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to pick. Because these are flashcards, it's hard to shuffle them because they're not thick, right? But, okay, I'm being pulled to get this card. Let's see, what are your messages? Oh my god, see? Oh my god, what did I tell you? Somebody's, they're scared of rejection. I don't know if you feel the same way. What the... Oh my God, I don't know if you feel the same way. So this is very specific, guys. So your person, this soulmate of yours, if you already know them, the reason if you're wondering why is it that they're not expressing or why is it that it's taking a long time as well for this person to make a move, they're scared of rejection and they don't know. Like what I told you, you heard me, right? It can, fa it can rewind, rather, go back. To what I said I said specifically that maybe like there's a specific message where I said that maybe they this happened before um, where they actually tried to you know open up to this person and they thought they have a chance with that person but it turned out that they got rejected so now they're very careful I'm hearing they're very careful and very cautious so that is the reason why there are where's that card Oh, wow. This is so specific. That's the reason why they're actually... Let me get that card again. That's actually the reason why they're indecisive. Because they don't know. I don't know if you feel the same way. Okay? I really don't know if you feel the same way for me. And so, that word trust. Okay? That maybe they're also having a hard time trusting themselves. Like, they don't believe in themselves. That's where the lack of self-worth. They need to love themselves. Okay? Like, maybe this person loves to please other people, too. I don't know. That's specific. I don't know why I'm hearing that. But, yeah. Aw, that's so sweet, guys. So, yeah, this person is so in love with you. They just need to work on their confidence. Oh, wow. You know? Suddenly, I felt sad. Earlier, I was, like, giggling. But, yeah. Definitely this person. But let it unfold. I'm hearing that from spirit. Just let it unfold, you know? Accept the situation. If this person's not opening up yet accept it for now give this person a chance okay that's you know give this person a chance to be confident enough maybe they're working on their confidence or self-esteem or you can help them especially now that you know that they are, are actually in love with you um it's just that they don't know if you feel the same way then maybe you can make some hints you know try to you know um drop some hints that you do like them okay and but then let them let it unfold because let them be the ones to actually express it towards you all right or just drop some hints drop some hints if you're the guy though then maybe it's about time to make a move to this person okay let this person know if you're a woman it's more 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 likely that it's best for you to just accept the situation first you know maybe this person's not ready yet and allow it to unfold, okay? Until this person is ready. At um, From the time being, you can actually drop some hints. If you're a woman, just drop some hints like, you know, I feel the same way. If you don't want to, you know, to rush things, you know, because I'm here, I'm really feeling that you have to let it unfold, okay? And divine timing. I'm hearing that too. Divine timing. So definitely that's a message, you know, <laughs> your soulmate has for you. Oh my God. That's why I was blushing. But the only problem is this lack of self-worth, self-esteem, you know. Wow, wow, beautiful. I love group two. I love group two's reading. Oh, my God. Now, let's try to pull up your soulmate cards. Okay, this is the message for you, maybe from their higher self as well. All right, okay, there you go. A profound, oh, my God, another transformation. Jeez. A profound transformation is taking place in your life. Be yourself. You have much to offer the world by just being you. Your love has the power to transform all things, including your relationship and love life. My gosh. Look at this. How it's making, oh my God. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So again, a profound transformation is taking place. Something is about to happen. Just be yourself, guys, okay? Or this person is telling you that 
they needed to be themselves, okay? And they're transforming, okay? They're in the process of transformation. Just be yourself. Something about being you. Oh, my God. And you got the world card, right? Hold on. Let me get that card. Let me go back and get that card. Hold on. Where is that? And this is transformation. Some cycles going on, guys. I'm getting the chills right now, to be quite honest. I'm getting the chills. This message, I tell you, this message, especially, with, oh, no, not that one. Where's that transformation card? There you go. And this one, and then also the trust card, guys, that kept on popping up, the trust, okay? Just trust. And there's going to be a transformation that's going to happen, right? Just be yourself. Oh, my God. This is such a powerful reading for number two. I'm so excited for you guys. I'm really, really excited for you guys. I'm rooting for you guys. I really wish that, you know, you and your soulmate are going to be, yeah, that you guys are going to be together soon. I really pray for that, guys, because this is such a strong reading. Gosh, group two's reading was so amazing. All right. Like I was blushing earlier. It's the first time I've been like giggling and blushing, but I also felt sad because this person has low self-esteem for some reason. I'm really picking up their energy, but I heard you're so beautiful. Oh my God. So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed Group 2's reading. Um, thank you so much for that. Take it as it resonates, guys. Okay, so if it didn't, just click off or choose another pile or choose another talented reader out there. Okay? All right, so I gotta go. Bye. Love and light. Last group, you chose this beautiful yin-yang coaster. Okay? So let's try to find out some messages from your soulmate, okay? And let me tell you, um, for those that are actually single, okay, and obviously don't know this person yet, okay, these are just clues because I'm going to pick up a lot of energies. And obviously, um, some of them, they already know their, their soulmate. So I'm going to, you know, um, like pick up their energies of those who are already in a soulmate relationship and I'm going to pick up what's happening with them, okay? So maybe for those who are single, my advice is just pick up, you know, maybe their sign, you know, the energy or possibly what, you know, they wanted to tell you at this time that you haven't met them yet, the messages that they wanted to tell you, even though you haven't met or you haven't been in, in union just yet, okay? All right, so let's get started. Uh, we'll try to ask Spirit. Okay, Spirit, what are the messages of their soulmate for group three? Messages of group three soulmate. Oh, wow. First card, you have two of wands. Okay, let me pull it out. Where's that card? Okay, there you go. All right, let's try to pull out the deck, rather. Orban Tarot deck. Messages from their soulmate, please, for group three. Messages from their soulmate for group three. Oh, wow. Okay. You got the Seducer, Knight of Cups. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Let's pull out. Good Tarot. Messages from their soulmate spirit. Messages from their soulmate for group three. Okay. Wow. He got eight of pentacles. Put it over there. Messages from group three soulmate, please. Messages from group three soulmate. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so weird. You know, this reading is so beautiful. I love this soulmate reading because it's so weird. I could I could hear a lot of messages. This is the very first time I heard a lot of specific messages, especially for group two. My God, I have a lot of clues there. And at the same time, how it's making sense. Look at that. You chose the yin and yang and you have the yang card. Oh my God. Oh my god. Okay. So definitely soulmate. Definitely soulmate. Okay, let me pull out more cards for you. This is so freaking weird. Okay, messages for group three soulmate spirit, archangels and angels. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, you got two cards. Let's see here. Oh, broken heart. 
And then what's the other card? Door to spirit. Okay, so that, this is definitely a strong spiritual soulmate connection, okay? All right, and I'm hearing some of you guys are from different countries. You guys are separated. If not different countries, you are currently separated from your soulmate, okay? And this person wanted to come back. I'm really feeling that. This person wanted com to come back. They're deciding on things, okay? For the signs or energies, um, it could be um, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Somewhere in their chart, they could also have Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Or Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, okay? Not seeing air here. It's really, uh, except, of course, we're broken heart. But um, those are the energies or the signs. Now, this person, let's start off first with those who are resonating with um, separate countries or different countries, different race, background, cultures, or what have you, okay? This person wanted to tell you that they're longing for you. I heard that strongly. I, I, I'm, I'm longing for you. I wish I can be there with you right now, okay? Um, this person is really deciding on how to, how to go about, you know, I'm hearing travel. This person wanted to travel like they wanted to travel towards you, how they wish they can. Okay. And that they are actually, you know, um, they actually wanted to, to be with you. I, I keep on hearing that. Like, I want to be with you. I want to be with you. Like physically, maybe like this face to face, like you guys are face to face, you know, enjoying drinks, having fun together. You know, this one, this person really has strong feelings for you. They love you so much. Okay. And I'm hearing that they can't handle the distance. There's a separation because you guys are geographically separated. Let's start off with that energy. Okay. Because, um, I'm really picking that up and you are this, this person wanted to tell you, you are the yin to my yang, okay? That you belong to me. I don't know. It's like when I saw this card that you belong to me. I belong to you. You belong to me, okay? And that's the reason why it's so, they're heartbroken because they're not with you. I really don't feel that you guys actually had an argument, honestly. Um, for some, yeah, I'm really, don't, I'm really not feeling that. I'm feeling that the reason why there's broken heart here is because of the distance, okay? Like what I said, I heard I can't handle the distance, you know? I wish I can be there with you right at this very moment. I mean, okay, okay, I got a song. Try Although this is Japanese, though, guys, I, I don't know, but um, but there's an English version. I don't know if you guys know Utada Hikaru. Um, um, because I heard the song like, I want to be with you now. Futari de distance, shinji meta. Okay, but I, I don't know how to sing. I actually love to sing, but I'm quite shy to sing in front of the camera right now. <laughs> but anyway, but there is actually um, uh, an English version of that, if I'm not mistaken. But try to look up Utada Hikaru. Um, that's um, distance, okay? Distance, final distance and then distance, okay? Wow, that was strong. Okay, so they can't handle the distance. That's why they're heartbroken, okay? They want to be with you. I keep on hearing that. I want to be with you. I, how I wish I'm there with you right now. I want to touch you. Oh, my God, that was strong. I want to touch you. Gosh, okay? And with the door to spirit, what I'm getting here is that this this person knows that you are connecting telepathically. I don't know why I'm hearing that. You guys are... Oh, yeah, because you guys are, have a strong spiritual soulmate connection, right? Yin to the yang. Like, you belong to me. And this person, I'm hearing you can also be dreaming about this person. They're trying to come into your dreams. Okay? Um, but this person is definitely working hard on this, you know? They're, they're really working hard. They're, uh, but the eight of earth, for me, somebody's, like, working hard, right? But I'm also... Um, I'm also getting a different message with the eight of earth. I'm, I'm feeling that this person is trying to, to be strong on this connection. Like this person is still hoping. I don't know why I'm getting that. It's not the meaning of the card. We don't have the star card here, but, but that's actually the message I got when I saw this eight of earth. Okay. Or somebody is actually trying to work hard for some. They're trying to work hard on the connection. Maybe they're trying to save up money to come towards you. Or somebody needs to save up money to come towards each other to travel because I heard the word travel, but they really can't handle the distance anymore. And again, please do try to listen to Utada Hikaru's um, final distance or distance song. Um, if 
of course, try to look up the English translation. But I really feel that there is an English, you know, there's no because it's a Japanese, right? So there is actually uh, an English version, rather. Okay, so this person is really, really feeling heartbroken because you're not together. Wow, if you have, if you're single, haven't met that person yet, then you know they just wanted to tell them, you know, wanted to be with you. Okay, maybe spiritually, you guys are connected. Something, something to do with dreams. This is a really strong spiritual connection. I tell you that strong spiritual connection. And for those that are not resonating with distance, like you guys are actually um, like um, from different countries or different race, cultures, distance, like geographic. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's like different countries or different race, maybe different states. Or it's just saying that you guys are just separated. OK, and they can't handle the separation because they wanted to work on this connection. Maybe you guys had a fight. Maybe you guys had an argument and they realized like, you know what, you are the yin to my yang. Okay. All right. So if you're not resonating with the culture, different culture or race, or maybe you both are of the same culture, it's just that you're separated because yeah, something happened between the both of you. There's a fallout or if not a fallout, you guys are just separated by distance. Maybe somebody's from a different state. Okay. Take it as it resonates guys. Okay. But definitely this person, I heard earlier, they wanted to come back. For some, like they wanted to come back towards you. For some, they wanted to travel towards you because you are separated by distance, okay? For some, you guys are totally different. You chose the yin-yang. We all know that the yin-yang is actually totally different, right? One is white, one is black. And yet, they balance each other out because yin-yang means balance, okay? They balance each other out. They actually, um, yeah, um, they actually, what do you call that? Um... Like, even though you guys are totally different, you know, uh, different personality, different culture, different background, you know, you guys are still for each other. Like, yeah, there's something about, like, balancing each other out, you know? I I'm, I'm trying to find that word. I just forgot the word that I use when, um, when, when both are different. But, um... Yeah, you're, there you go. You complement. Thank you, spirit. You complement each other. There you go. That's what they want to tell you. Like, this person is... Very heartbroken because they're not with you. You know, they they can't handle the separation. Okay, so some are separated only by distance. That's why they're heartbroken. Some are separated because of what happened. Okay, and they wanted to tell you that you belong to me. I keep on hearing that you belong to me and I belong to you. Okay, all right. So, oh, not this one. Okay, let's try the romance angels. Messages from Group Three soulmate, please, Spirit. What do they want to tell Group Three? Messages for group three soulmate. Wow. Make the effort. Okay, so yeah, they wanted to tell you great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. So there like what I told you. There you go. That's where the eight of pentacles is coming from. Like making the effort. Work on this connection. Remember I told you that. This person's going to work on it, you know? It's willing to make a make this connection work. That's why they making the effort. Okay? That's what I what they wanted to tell you. Because this is worth it, you know? This is worth, you know, um taking the steps, right? So this is worth it definitely for this person, your soulmate, okay? They're trying to make, make it work, make the connection work, make the effort, all right? Okay, wow. I love it when, you know, it's actually really making sense. Okay, now let's try to pull out Lover's Oracle. And I'm also hearing they're willing to put some work into this connection. That was also specific, okay. All right, so... Messages for group three spirit from their soulmate. Okay. What messages? Okay, there you go. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Okay, this is definitely going to resonate for those that had that had a breakup with this person, okay? So you know, you know, um, you know what is right for you. Is it time to, you know, to totally close the doors um, to this person? Um, it's up to you, you know. Follow your inner guidance, you know. Follow your instincts. Follow your guts. That's what I'm getting from this, um, from this card. But power, I'm also feeling that this is a powerful connection. Because it's a strong spiritual soulmate connection, okay. But spirit is just telling you that it's up to you. 
All right, it's up to you. If you still wanted to go with this connection, if you wanna make an effort to this connection or not, okay? Because you definitely know what is right and wrong for you, okay? So like what I always say in my readings too, you are the captain of your own ship, you know? Architect of your own destiny. It's your own free will. These are just readings, but yes, this is actually the message for you. And let me actually now get my keywords cards. It's been a long time I haven't used this, actually. It's been a long time. So we'll get some keywords, some clues from this person. All right, let's see here. I'll just take six. I took six for each group. So we'll take six cards to give us some clues about this soulmate. Okay. Oh, wow. The first word you got is cry. I'm sorry, because that was worn out or, you know, uh, yeah. But the first word is cry. So definitely this person is crying because they're heartbroken, right? About the separation. All right. All right. Next, we have betrayal. Okay. Wow. Cry betrayal. For some, yeah. Somebody was, there was a third party, you know, something happened. And then we have trust. Oh, wow. Group two also got this. Betrayal, cry, and trust. Then we have past life. Yeah, group two got this too. Definitely, it's a past life. It's a soulmate connection, right? And this person is saying, um, if you can actually trust them again, like, please do trust me again, all right? For those that are resonating more with a broken heart, okay? And then for those that are actually, you know, you guys are separated, obviously, because there was a betrayal, there was a third party maybe, or something just happened between the both of you where you guys are, you know, they broke your heart, you broke each other's heart. You guys are separation. Okay. So yeah. And this person is wanting to tell you that they're crying right now. They can't handle the separation. That's what they want to say. They can't handle the separation. The distance. The separation. Oh my God. All right. So yeah. Total six cards. Thank you. So somebody's born in January. Okay. So this could be actually uh, a Capricorn. Because you also have Earth energy, I believe. That we have the Eight of Pentacles, so they could be born in January. Or something happened in January, okay? Um, yeah, that's what I'm picking up. January. Something to do with January. Or you guys met January. Take it as it resonates. And then we have confused, okay? So, yeah, somebody is definitely confused. Like, they don't know if they still have a chance. That's what I'm getting. They still don't know if they have a chance with you. So, right now, they're crying. I'm sorry about that. It's worn out. Um, betrayal. Okay, they're very sorry. They're deeply sorry for betraying you. Okay, there could be a third party. They don't know if you are still going to trust them after all that they've done. Something to do with a past life. Now, for the past life, it's actually, um, it's just saying that you guys have a strong or significant connection because you've met through many lifetimes is what I'm picking up. And it's something to do with January. Maybe that's the month. Okay, something significant about January. It could be your birthday or something significant that happened that month okay and then they're confused they really don't know whether you would still take them back or not that's really the message i'm getting right now and now let's try to pull out the channeled messages i actually did did this channeled messages earlier from spirit it took me an hour <laughs> God, <laughs> because i want to make sure all right so spirit is actually just asking me one i did only one for each group as well i want to be fair my Libran side is coming out. I'm a Scorpio sun, by the way. And my and my rising sign is Libra. My moon sign is Aquarius. My Venus is in Libra. <laughs> my Mercury is in Scorpio. My Mars is in Aries. Oh, gosh. Oh, well. Anyway. So my Libran is actually coming out, being fair. All right. So anyway, I'm going to pick out cards. I'm ready. Spirit, please. Message from group three for group three from their soulmate channeled messages and this is not going to resonate for all okay so take it as it resonates if this is resonating with you that's a confirmation that's your message you needed to hear that because i specifically asked spirit what message do they need to hear okay i'm being pulled to get this one Ow. okay let's see i'm excited here you go i'm not ready for this commitment okay so yeah Maybe they're not ready for this commitment yet. They're confused. Maybe that's r the reason why they're confused, right? For some, they don't know if you are actually going to take them back, okay? 
And um, for some, the the reason now, now I'm getting this because this is a channel messages. Somebody felt betrayed. Okay, somebody was betrayed. Felt very heartbroken. Okay, maybe they actually broke your heart. Okay, and maybe it's the viewer who whose heart was actually broken, and it's not the person. Okay, it's not the person. So they're very sorry. Okay, they're very and. They're very in, indecisive or not really, you know, trusting themselves right now. Like they don't know. I don't know why I'm saying I'm hearing indecisive. They're very indecisive whether they should go for this connection or not. Okay. Take it as it resonates. Okay. Um, but this person um, has a lot of, you know, trust issues, maybe because they were betrayed in the past. Okay. So I'm getting a different message with this card because maybe you're not resonating with the energies that I was able to pick up and they're confused. Somebody's very confused. Okay, like they don't know if they're ready for this, but actually they're telling you right now that I'm not ready for this commitment. Maybe they had trust issues. They were betrayed in the past. That's another energy. Now, for others of you, you were the one who got betrayed. Okay, you were the one who got, whose heart was broken. Okay, by this person. And they're sorry for that. They wanted to apologize that they actually broke their trust. And um, they're apologizing that they kind of give you like mixed signals i'm hearing mixed signals that's why they're you know that that left you feeling so confused right so they're telling you that they're not ready for this commitment just yet okay so take it as it resonates there's so many energies that i'm picking up but this is the channel message somebody needs to hear this that's why i said before i shuffle like if you're not this is not going to resonate for everyone, but somebody needs to hear this message. Like, I'm not ready for this commitment. And if you're resonating with what I just said, then that's it. Okay? All right. I don't want to be a bearer of, you know, bad news. But, of course, that was a channeled message. I don't want to sugarcoat things. I'm just, you know, writing down things, what spirit is telling me. Okay? All right. So, now, let's proceed to your soulmate cards. Let's see here. Before we wrap this reading up. For those of you who are not resonating with it, um, just don't take the last or channeled message. Maybe it's just meant for somebody because it's like a totally different energy now um, when, when I actually got that card. Okay, so let's see here. What message do you need to hear? Okay. Maybe that's the reason why we have the two of wands. For some reason, I'm being pulled to get this. Somebody's deciding, right? Someone is indecisive. Because this is a card of decision. It's trying to make a decision, but it looks like they want to tell you I'm still not ready for this commitment. Okay, anyway. Do not fear the current changes. All is happening in accordance with your divine plan. The current events are paving the way to a brighter future. Love illuminates all darkness. Remain positive and light. Okay, so maybe this separation that you have right now, um, and there was definitely a change, right? So Spirit is actually telling you that maybe in divine timing, there is a plan for you guys, okay? Um, whatever is happening um, is actually leading you to a brighter future, okay? Maybe because if this person comes to your life and they're not ready for a commitment, they're just going to, you know, always break your heart, okay? So just remain positive, okay? Maybe this person is in a dark place, okay? Maybe they cheated on you. So um, maybe this person needed to heal first. That's why they're not ready. Some of them could be um, commitment phobic, you know? Some of them maybe, you know, they just wanted to keep their options open. You know, they're not ready. You know, they're not ready yet. But it looks, this is a strong spiritual connection though because their soulmate could be a twin flame as well, actually. But what is what this card is saying is that try to, not to fear the current things that are happening, the changes that have been happening in your connection. There is definitely a divine plan for you guys, okay? And it's leading you to a brighter future. Keep the hope. I'm here. I'm hearing that. Keep the hope. Try to remain positive and light, okay? Because love illuminates all darkness. Illuminates all darkness. All right? So that's the last message you needed to hear right now. Those are actually the message from your soulmate, okay? Whether soulmate or twin flame or what have you. All right, guys. So I hope this resonated with you. And again, I love the message here. Love illuminates all darkness. Remain positive in light. Like what I always say, love is light. Fear is darkness, okay? So choose light. Choose love.
love and light, everyone. Okay? I'll see you again. Bye. Love and light.